Hello everybody, today I will show you some tests that I did and uh, some changes that I applied on my GPU in AMD to see if we can gain some performance in latency and FPS. My GPU currently is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT and here we can see that what I tested. I tested some registry from Melody. Melody is an, uh, is, uh, an IT professional and I try them to see if we can gain some performance boost. I tested the pre-render frames. I had made a video in the past about this, but I wanted to make again those tests to be more sure about which is better, at least for my machine. I tested also this software named MPO GPU Fix that doing some registry changes and theoretically can help you in performance and fix stutters or any issue related with your AMD GPU. I tried to disable some services here to see if we can gain some performance that they are running by default in background. And also I tested those options from AMD control panel. As we can see here. So we can uh, move now to the practical part. Let's see the conditions that I did my tests. As always I did five samples of 60 seconds with five seconds delay each for FPS. In latency five samples of 10 seconds each. Same tools that I used as with the previous video. The hardware is the same with the latest always AMD driver, Windows 11 Pro version. I must mention also that I didn't mention this in the previous video, but in every reboot, I waited until the system passed five minutes in idle to prevent an issue. And the same games that I tested. We can see some which options I had enabled, which options I changed by default from uh, control panel and some other uh, specific options that I change in-game. Some disclaimers. When I refer to no tweaks means default without any AMD tweak from those that I tested. By default, in the default options doesn't include anything that I tested for this video. The disclaimer too, I must mention that in pre-render frames part the default value for those tests in no tweaks it was the value zero. On my machine I tested by default the value zero as default. The disclaimer three is altogether not include a lag etc altogether option as you will see in the performance analysis. Altogether plus AMD control panel include everything, include the registry changes and the program changes that I did. The disclaimer four includes all the others titles tweaks tested individually which means without run anything together for instance when you see pre-render frames one means i did i changed only this option not anything else and lastly on mpo gpu fix i used only mdu lps mpo fix pdr fix together not individually those settings for this program so after we uh, explained all disclaimers we can see the results by starting uh, with CS2 in FPS. In average FPS we have as best options the all together. In 1% lows again we have all to X together. 0 0.1 against all together. Adaptive vested dev. The best results was with no tweaks. The frame time the average frame times was better with all tweaks together. The PC latency was better at the most option at the most uh, tests and including all tweaks together we say we can see one millisecond reduction with those options uh, in comparison with no tweaks or with the settings from AMD control panel. For instance we see the add lag option adding one millisecond more latency PC latency in CS2. In, in Fortnite, the best average FPS was with one pre-render frames only, without changing anything else. 
in 1% loss was much better with Andilak and we can see that we have a huge FPS boost. Same thing with 0.1% loss, we can see a very good improvement in FPS. The adapted just dev again is, was better with anti lag. The frame times was better with not without any tweaks by default without change anything. And the PC latency, uh, for instance, all tweaks together was the best with some other options as we can see. Adding lag and all options together, everything adding two milliseconds more uh, PC latency. So let's see now the CS2 latency. In DPCI SR Enter Times, the best of the best results is with no tweaks. The DPCI SR Exit Times is better with Melody AMD Radeon tweaks only. The inclusive duration, milliseconds, uh, micro, microseconds, is better with two pre rendered frames. The exclusive duration, microseconds, is better again with two pre rendered frames. And the duration fragmented is better with all tweaks together. In Fortnite, the DPCI surrender time is better with without any tweak. The DPCI surrender time is better with enhancing. The inclusive duration is better with MPO GPU fixed tool. The exclusive duration is better with Radeon Boost. The duration fragmented is better with Melody's AMD Radeon tweaks. And we come to the end. Should we change anything from what we saw on this video? I will say yes, but as I say always on every video, you must conduct your own captures, your own tests, to be sure that something is working or not. So do your tests and uh, let me know in the comments what's working for you. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you.